speaker pole is very easy to set up um, you just go ahead and enter your information in here to get a 60 day free trial so after 60 days the charge is just three pounds per month just to cover some of the costs of running speaker pole but you put your um, your name and, and uh, first name last name in there and the primary email address so the email address that is going to become your user id um, put a password in there and then the only other piece of information is the audience opt-in url so this is the url that speaker poll is going to send to your audience as a thank you for voting in your speaker poll um, speaker poll is going to convert that into a bitly so it's convert that into a shortener so you can actually paste in there a big long url from your um, opt-in form no problem whatsoever and it's going to handle it and convert it you then type in your credit card details uh, and as I say it's just three pound per month um, as a subscription to speaker poll plus a small charge for each of the SMS is sent out so you do that and then you click the order now button to log in and start using speaker poll is very simple and straightforward you can either go to speakerpoll.com um, slash speaker or down at the bottom here there's a little menu path that takes you to the speaker login um, you just put in here the uh, password the email and password that you've set up and the app is speaker poll click login that logs you into into here this asks you to provide an ID so that your speaker poll can be unique from anybody else's so you just go ahead and put anything you like in here it doesn't matter um, if it's not available if somebody else is already using that um, short ID then it'll just tell you so otherwise uh, you can go ahead and put something in there I usually use my initials but you can do anything you like whatsoever you click on that that creates the ID it then asks you to put a URL in for the opt-in form that is going to be emailed to each of your audience by um, text messaging um, it tells me that the default is already in the system is excella.co.uk so I enter that when I signed up if I didn't enter anything when I signed up that would be blank and if I leave it blank then my audience is going to get a nice thank you text message but there will be no URL in it um, if I put wants to put a different URL in here I just go ahead and put it in there again it can be anything whatsoever it can be as long as you like because speaker poll is going to convert that to a bitly to save, uh, save spaces if I do want to make that and my default I just tick this box and then that will become the default URL in the system I'm going to leave it as it is at the moment so I click next and then I just start um, answering the question asking the questions rather so I can ask my audience that question I click add Okay, and that becomes the next question in the line you see the first question next box in there is the speak well goods I've just asked in there um, there's no votes on these if you actually want to clear the questions you can just click on this link here and that will clear all those questions and just go back to the beginning and then you can ask you your question just up here and then we get to a, uh, a screen just with that question on it and then if I go ahead and just vote, so I'm just going to uh, make a send a text message from my uh, telephone and uh, make a vote so that you can see this sort of happening live. So all I need to do is type the word votes followed by that ID that I put in and this is not case sensitive and then I'm going to vote A if speaker poll is any good, B if it's not very good and C if I'm not sure at the moment. So obviously I think speaker poll is pretty good. So I'm just going to send that text message. So that text message is gone. And when I click refresh, there's my vote registered. And obviously if I had two, 300 people in the audience or uh, four or five people in the audience, then the scale would um, change accordingly and if I now want to send another text message so simulating somebody else making a vote so votes my ID and then another vote and then if I just send another vote to speaker poll and click refresh 
we can see the vote change is live. And I can just go ahead and ask another question. And the votes are now closed on question one. And the votes are open on question two. And I can keep doing that continuously um, and just get a whole series of questions. Obviously, the screen resizes. So visually, there's a limit to what you'd want to do there. But technically, you can ask as many questions as you like. So these are the, um, the short codes. So your audience, if their audience are using a UK SIM card, they can text 8089 with votes and then the ID and then A, B and C, and that'll work. If they're using a US SIM card, it's 32075 votes and then the ID and then A, B and C. And internationally, you can just use that number right there. Okay, please go ahead and have a play, use your 60 days to test it, that's great, and hopefully uh, it'll have some value for you.